just as you said, leak out, I kicked it on. <laughs> it's like, cool, you go, okay, uh, I'll leave. Uh, I'll call it my cave. I'll be 100% after I'm done with this mission because I don't want to just. Okay, we're gonna put this up yeah. on a small screen in the corner and you can watch it play. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the way those drones are looking at me. They're looking at you. So basically, pull a TikTok and have a game running in the background just so we can keep people's yes. attention. Yes. The enrichment is no subway servers is no I'm longer put on a, it's Mass Effect One. A video of a video Fuck. of a video this is, that we're watching. This is this is terrifying to look at. After about what five outside of that, that should do. Stop, and then. You get sabotaged, you get warped. Can we get a warp on you? Oh, that was uncalled for! <laughs> but a whole lot of fun to watch! <laughs> it's like a train wreck, right? It really is, sometimes. And we stare, oh my god, so looking. There we go. That's punishment, that's not... It's all mods that I don't want. Is blue coming or is visor coming? Uh, whenever he gets here, That's he's he's not responding. So, we're, we're so gonna. That is definitely a question. Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna start. All right. The junctions don't. Trigger the oh, tech mines. Like That's so line. annoying. What's going off. Sorry. <laughs> I was listening. Okay. Got music played on this side. I'm like, hey. Uh, I need uh, to flip screens. Where's my roll? Oh, Bastion. Oh, looks like I'm turning it on. This one? No, it's this one. There it is. I keep the shell modulator on for now. It, uh,. Space Ghost Dave's oh God, riding a tier God. one. Oh my God, I forgot that does that sound. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I really need to move. You okay? Why is that way over in the upper left? Never mind. I'll deal with it later. I'm not going to deal with it right now. Yeah, I, I, I just saw that up there too. I don't, oh, yeah. I thought it was in the middle, but uh, not a worry. Uh, since we are streaming now, anybody who catches us live, you see all this now, but anybody who's catching it, you can find all the past videos here on there, on the YouTube side of things. You can find the whole archive of all these and entertain yourself for hours on end of watching us being, well, crazy. Uh, and then I will switch screens to this. Dave, do you want to take it from here? Or you want me to describe this one? <laughs> no, I, I I can take it from here. Okay, cool. Since I know you're falling asleep. Uh, so if you are interested in checking out the books for this game, uh, velvetfangamescom slash Destiny, uh, go ahead and check them out. The books are for free. Um, you can also join their Patreon. They have a, uh, they're working on the updated version to the very books that we're working on here. Uh. They're calling it Destiny, D and Destiny 2.0. Uh, and uh, they'll actually be available to the public here sometime probably by the end of the summer. But uh, right now, if you're a member of their Patreon, you can get access to it. And they're actually doing some uh, testing on it. So cool stuff. We, we certainly appreciate them. But other than that... Uh, if everyone is ready, we shall jump back into it. Yeah. So. <clears throat> uh... <laughs> it has now been two days since the end of the Red War. You guys have been debriefed by the Vanguard um, for your last, uh, for the end of the last episode. And at the moment, you've all gone back to your respective apartments. And lucky for all of you, your rooms didn't necessarily take any damage. So you didn't lose anything and your apartments uh, did not take any damage. 
So y'all are back in your respective apartments. Uh, you're starting to wake up on the new day. Uh, who would actually like to wake up first? I will make you roll for it if you if no one answers. I was just I would have my mouth full. I was gonna say if no one answers, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I will I, first. I, oh. <laughs> are you okay? You wanna you go want first? To go start? Uh, yeah. You go. Uh, okay. I'll go I was gonna say if nobody else is gonna go for I it, I'll do to it first. I unmute my microphone. I had to manually. So you go start, and then I'll go. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Star, hmm? Diablo. You're waking up in your apartment. The sunrise is starting to creep through the, the little cracks of shade in your windows. What's the first thing you do? With the sunlight streaming through and one and prompting Diablo to wake up, she does a little bit of a stretch and sits up and she swings her legs off the bed and at first she, it seems like it's a normal day and then she thinks about what the fuck just happened it's the first time going back to normalcy and it feels really strange to her She's looking around. You said that there wasn't a whole lot of damage to her apartment. No, uh, your guys's particular buildings uh, didn't take any external damage, so you guys are didn't lose anything. Oddly enough, she gets up and she pe takes a peek out of the window to see the city. And it's a stark reminder of what the fuck she just went through. So over the last 48 hours for you specifically, as you've kind of wandered about the city following your debrief, you've, you've sensed that there is a, a great sense of relief among the city, but it's also... Uh, a bit of, uh, I guess, joy, really, for lack of a better term. It's a different feeling compared to other circumstances where the city has faced crisis. In previous times and previous battles, the city might have felt particularly exhausted or morale might be low in circumstances like this. But in the last 48 hours, for you, the city has felt rather upbeat. They're happy. And yet, she feels that. She feels elated. But the encounter she had with the Wish Dragon unsettled her. So Polaris is and... kind of floating over your shoulder, just kind of looking at you. Glimmer for your thoughts? I wonder if I made a mistake turning down the offer of the Wish Dragon. Of whatever the fuck that thing was that offered me what I wanted. Uh, you know the stories of the Ahamkara. If you seriously took that deal, you might be under the same control that took over the that big guy. Callus, mm -hmm. I th think it was his name was. But if you took that offer, things might have turned really sour for you. That's one thing that calms my conscience. I had a very bad feeling when that thing, the Ahamkara, 
made the offer. It's, it's an unexplainable thing in my gut that or lack of guts, whatever you call it. It's that kind of instinctual feeling that you get when you feel danger, I guess. Mm. Traveler knows I've felt enough danger. Definitely felt that then. I uh... can't help but wonder what would happen. The would haves, the could haves. Well, no sense in really worrying about it now. All we can really do is keep moving forward. Mm. That's true. But, uh, I guess one thing to help me move forward is making bullets. Because fuck knows I need more bullets. And also check over my guns. Again. I don't know what else to do. Well... I mean, about this thing with the Ahamkara, maybe we should talk to someone in the Vanguard, someone who's more experienced in these sorts of things. I mean, at least might help you get the answers that you might be looking for anyway. I don't know if they will have the answers. I guess it's always worth a shot, just... Well, they are oh. still trying to recover data from everything that was taken over the course of the Red War. Um, uh, but we can at least inquire with them. It's only one hurt to ask. Mm. I just feel wary of coming to the Vanguard with such personal matters. Maybe we just go to the Cryptarchy? I'm sure we can talk to someone there who might be able to keep it on the hush-hush if you want. It seems more viable. Above table, can you remind me what the Cryptarchy is again? They are basically the custodians of knowledge when it comes to the Vanguard. They they keep track of all the archives and all the knowledge that is held within the city. So librarians. Essentially. Of, or but, something uh, like Orion <clears throat> Pax was. Kind of, but they their job is to decrypt um the data engrams that are brought in by the guardians and that is in turn turned into weapons and gear mm -hmm. but that's basically their job is to uh decrypt catalog and and just basically store all this information so the cryptarchies yeah you're you're basic librarians for lack of a better term hmm Professors, maybe, in okay. certain fields of knowledge. Okay. <clears throat> well, I should probably pay a visit to the Cryptarchy as well, so I can learn more blueprints. Maybe experiment with some more gun frames, just to help keep my mind busy. <sighs> no, that's something for us to do anyway, so we'll, let's get going on that. Hmm. I also wonder how the rest of the team is doing. Well, we can always swing by their bar later on. Uh, assuming they're all there. But well, we can drop by there anyway. Let's go to the Cryptarchy first. I'd rather get that out of the way. So Diablo then turns and starts putting on her armor and... She puts on her helmet last and settles it down, taking a deep breath and a sigh. All right, let's get this over with. Questions left unanswered are just going to burn and eat me away. All right, so with that, we are going to move over to Matrix.
and I is here. Eros is the real deal. Eros, uh, you're starting to wake up now. Uh, similar situation, the sunrise, uh, the light is starting to break through the shades of your window. <laughs> DB's just kind of, uh, doing something kind of floating over on the desk, uh, opposite of your bed. Hmm. What is it, DB? Without even opening my eyes. Uh, I'm just kind of going through the, the news, uh, catching up on what's happening in the city. Uh, nothing overly important, I suppose. Um, how are you doing? Mm. I don't know. With everything that's happened, DB. Uh, it has been a few days, but I suppose it still might take some time to kind of process everything that happened. Yes. I mean, between everything that brought us here and everything we've just kind of faced off against now, it kind of brings a lot of things into question. Yes, many questions. Of which I unfortunately don't really have the answers to. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm certainly looking, but it's unfortunately more dead ends than I can count. Yes. Uh, uh, with everything that has happened, it is happening, it seems. I've got a dog who is starting to bark. <clears throat> No, he's not coming through on the mic, so you're okay. No bark. Both of you. I got both of them now. Oh, they're going to sit here. Uh, I'm going to sit up and look at DB for a moment. Kind of pat him. Well, with everything that has gone on, maybe I should take a visit to... To see it, Remy. But, uh, um, I'm not sure about I'm that. Um, I've actually been trying to reach out to her and her ghost. Um, they're in the city, but they really haven't been answering. Um, we know why. They're possibly not, mm, not really. Um, I can at least detect her ghost is still in the city, so she hasn't left. But I'm not sure. We know possible location. Um, kind of a general location. Uh, but. She's been kind of moving around a lot. So she hasn't really been staying in one place for very long. Not exactly sure what that's about. But she's been on the move quite a bit since she left the, the Vanguard. I think I should try to call her myself and see if she'll answer. Um, you can certainly give it a try, but um, I, I mean, I've been radioing her ghost, and she, she knows we've been trying to get in contact with her. But. Mm -hmm. um, Speaking of messages, though, I actually did uh, receive one from the Vanguard um, earlier, oh. of about an hour ago. Um, your request uh, to speak with the Queen of the Awoken um, was granted. Oh, uh, 
when do we go to see her then? Uh, we can actually depart here pretty soon. Um, I think we might want to stop by and check on you know, the bar and everything, speak with everyone here, and then maybe we start heading out that way to speak with her. Yes, I would like to see how everybody else is doing as well. Um, maybe have a chat with them if they're all there. That seems like a good idea. Uh, everyone's kind of been off and resting ever since we finished up with our debrief. Yeah. Yeah, the debrief. Oh, yeah. All right. Why don't we head to the bar and then we'll figure it out from there. All right. Sounds like a plan. You got it, light bulb. Hey. <laughs> I just pat him a few times. You know I'm only joking, buddy. Let's get going. Then I trudge out the door. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right. So with that, uh, who would like to go next? Uh, I will. All right. Theo. You're waking up a little bit differently. Oh. You still feel a little bit of a headache, which is slightly unusual for you. But something feels off and you can't really quite pinpoint what it is, but something just feels different. You're waking up in your usual room. Your ghost is kind of floating around, kind of looking out the window, just observing some of the people that are working just a few blocks down the street from you. Uh, by the traveler, head still knocking. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Nova just kind of floats over to you. Considering what happened to you, I can't say I'm surprised. In fact, I'm I'm more surprised I was able to completely heal everything that happened to you. Well, I mean, the Traveler was no longer a cage, so it makes sense. It was more what happened to you. You remember... Your helmet... Well, yeah, I was squeezing my hand while I was being revived. Right, but I'm saying the... Uh, how it crushed your helmet. Th that wasn't just any kind of... kind of a crush. It's entirely possible that I might not have been able to heal this. Ahamkara magic can lead to uncertain outcomes. The fact that I was able to heal this damage at all is frankly a miracle for me. But... Still, I'm, I'm just kind of worried about you. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm alive and breathing, or at least breathing as much as the next you can. Though I will say, I do feel slightly different. 
I can't really put my finger on it though. Nova kind of does a, a quick uh, scan over your body. I'm not seeing anything differently with your systems. Everything looks to be in a perfect operating order. You think it could be remnant data from this super, this soldier mod module thing? The module. And you see Nova just kind of um, move a little closer to your head and starts to do a bit of a more thorough scan. Because we already know that I was able to do a lock on thingy. Do you think the crushing and reassembly of my head did something? For a brief moment, you're, you're just hearing him just kind of scan and just kind of, he's kind of moving a little bit back and forth as he's starting to get a good look into your systems and then you just hear him suddenly stop. I'm afraid the chip might not be functional any longer. Oh, I, so... I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't catch it before, but I'm looking into this thing now and I think that might have been something, maybe that's what I can fix. I felt like there was something I I wasn't able to fix, and I guess here it is. Well, I mean, it wasn't exactly a natural part of my body, so I kind of figured that. But if anything, it's a, it's whatever for me, since I didn't exactly have a lot of chances to use it. Yeah, it would have been it would have been pretty handy though. But I mean, I might still have some unknown things for me, so there's something to look forward to, I guess. Actually, we may want to go see someone who's a bit more familiar with exobiology. Well, there is I'm, one. We haven't exactly talked to them in a while. Or at least well, for them, we didn't. Nova kind of moves to your front to to get like close to your face. I need you to understand, this chip is still inside your skull, even though it's damaged. We might not want someone to take a close look at that. Even though it's damaged, there could be something still working in there that may start to cause you to malfunction. I, I'm pretty good when it comes to certain things, but considering this chip and the technology involved, I wouldn't dare try to extract it myself. At least not without knowing full well what might happen. So I think it might be best if we find someone who's a bit familiar with your systems. And again, good thing I know the perfect person. Though for us, it was only a short bit, we haven't talked to them, but for them it's probably been ages. That being Milia. It'd be nice to see how much she grown. Well, it's certainly been a long time, but with human lifespans lasting much longer than they used to, uh, probably still has a few hundred years left in her. But and with that, a lot of knowledge as well. So maybe she discovered something about Exos. It's certainly worth reaching out and seeing what she knows. And maybe if she doesn't, maybe she might know someone who might be more influenced in this sort of 
science, I suppose. Agreed. Well, we should also inform the others of this as well, about the whole chip being busted and possible hay haywire thingamajig. Yeah, it's probably best if we check in with the rest of the group anyway, just to kind of touch base since it's been a few days. Yes, I I do have to admit I am surprised that we haven't gone poof. So I guess that was only um, a theory. Poof. Well, why we, would we go poof? We did technically mess with the person that was originally in the past that went to the future that brought us here. So I I don't I'm not smart. <laughs> uh I believe someone said it best, uh, wibbly wobbly, timey wimey kind of stuff. Yeah, we, we messed with the timey wimey, which would have brought us here from back then. So I figured that we would have gone to poof or something would have happened. But I mean, but isn't this so far. like. But if you look at the multiverse theory, I mean, technically, just isn't this a, un a different universe than the one we were in? I guess. Um, I'm not a brainiac, so I can't really say for sure. Again, we need to talk to someone who's much smarter on these subjects than ourselves. Agreed. Or we can just drop it as it is, since we're not going to figure it out. Well, let's go find the others, and maybe we'll ask them and see what they think. Alright. And I'll go ahead and start getting up and getting prepared. Alright, so you are going to go ahead and get ready for your day. Uh, so that's going to leave... Uh, our last two here, Singe and Ash. Which one of you two would like to go first? I'll go first, I guess, then. Okay, Singe. Singe, yep. you didn't necessarily have a very... Um, very good apartment, since you haven't really been living in the city for very long. So, the apartment you do have is the most barest bones of apartments. You have a bed, you have a desk, and you have a lamp. There are no decorations of any kind. It's literally like you were just given this room yesterday. So, as you're, you're kind of waking up, you didn't need much of a slumber. Being an exo, you only need roughly about four hours of sleep. But you're waking up. What's the first thing you you would be doing? Well, the window in my room, or is it? Well, yep. Um, all the apartments would have windows, at least one window. Okay. I just look out the window, I guess. Nothing really for me to do. And so you, you kind of pull the shade open a little bit, and you're you're looking down upon the street. You're seeing some light foot traffic as you see some people walking up and down the street. You're seeing some trucks loaded with supplies are starting to are driving down the street as well. People seem to be in high spirits though, even though with the circumstances as they are and everything the people seem to be in good spirits okay okay well um you i'm able to check how much glimmer do i have actually uh Actually, see, because I think I I did list it on your sheet. I should have anyway. 
It's just 2,500 here. Yeah, you just found it. Mm. Yeah, but I think you did... I think you did also get some too, but you probably just didn't put it in your sheet. Because I think that was the starting glimmer I gave you. Yeah, that is the starting glimmer. I just, what do you call it? Uh, I don't know. I've, um, I've so... Like yeah, I'm I'm just going to spitball because I, I know you should have more than that. So I'm just going to say you, you actually have 5,000. 5,000? 5, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I I mean you might have had more but I can't remember how much I did it divvied out in total so I'm just going to give you a 2500 and just call it that. Mm. Am I able to like buy things with that like any of that or Yeah, I mean what are you looking to buy? I mean, I don't know if I can, but like buy some an exotic armor, I guess. Perhaps. Not for five thousand. Exotic armors would cost a, a quite a bit more. Um. However, you would be receiving a reward from the Vanguard. Um. Like. Um, so I guess above game, what kind of exotic armor are you looking for? Um, honestly, I was thinking of either a Hanuma or like a chest plate. What do you call it? I was thinking either the, the, what do you call it? The fucking... Dawn chorus, I believe, or is it like uh, well, the Dawn chorus uses? Sorry, I'm like thinking about my build. It's now. fine, yeah, because um, you can basically use the reward you're given from the Vanguard, and you can apply that to getting uh, a piece of exotic armor. Because I know you don't have any, so I can say we we can apply that for you in this case. Um, you just let me know. Um, what exotic piece you would like, and we will get that set up for you. So I guess your goal then, Singe's goal for for now then, is to do some shopping and to to get some equipment. Yeah. Okay. Um, so was was that going to be the only goal that Sin is going to have for the moment, or did you want to do anything else? I guess, what's the weather outside like, actually? I don't know. If so right now, um, it's pretty clear. There's just a few clouds in the sky, and like I say, you're, you're seeing the sunrise outside. Are we by the tower, or where are we? Uh no, you are more closer to the central section of the city. You're not you're not too far from where the bar is. Uh you you're maybe like 6 or 7 blocks away from where the bar is at, but you're more in the central section of the city. I guess I'll head over to like more like the marketplace area, like the business district just browse, just like walk around, I guess. That's Okay, like... yeah, that that's not too far from where you're at and then um Depending on if you want to go visit the bar um, following that, you can certainly do that as well. Yeah, I'll go like around out. Okay. So um, for brevity, we'll, we'll just say you're going to go do your shopping and then we'll we'll come back to you later on then. Okay. All right. Uh, so then that leaves Ash. All right. <clears throat> so... <laughs> The uh, the voices have been getting worse, and so has her sleeping situation. She is, she did not get much sleep. Like exos don't need that much sleep, but she didn't even get it uh, enough for like decently rested as an exo. So has this been occurring over the last forty eight hours? Would you say? 
Yes. It's like the voices okay. are the voices have been steadily getting worse since she like since they started. And they're so now they're worse than they've ever been. And so she's okay. having trouble staying asleep because she's seeing things in her head. She's uh you know, she's hearing the uh what are they called? She's hearing the voices, they're 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 telling her things, they're threatening her, all that fun stuff. Okay, so we'll we'll kind of say like you've probably gained a few points of exhaustion um just from the lack of sleep and the lack of being able to sleep over the last few days. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and say um because of the lack of sleep and because of your your current physical condition, you've got two points of exhaustion. All right. Uh, so, uh, Dragonfly is gonna kind of float over to you and just, you haven't been resting very well. It's Thorn. It's been getting worse. I thought, I thought I could handle it, but I don't know. We... I don't even know if there is anybody we could find who would know anything about this. The only person I can think of who has experience with a weapon like this is dead, and I killed him. Well... I guess I'm not entirely sure myself, but... There are a few people we might be able to talk to as far as maybe cleansing the weapon. I... Don't know much about it personally, but at this point, I think it might be worth looking into for your sanity and mine. Definitely. I'll take whatever I can get. Uh, we don't have uh, anything, we don't have any pressing business to do, do we, with the rest of the team? Maybe we could do some research. Uh... There's nothing really pending at the bar at the moment. Uh, last I heard, uh, Barton's been using the bar as a bit of a soup kitchen while there's been some citywide repairs happening around the central section of the city. So the bar's pretty much been taking care of itself for the most part. Um, as far as any of the pending tasks, uh, we have nothing really tied to the vanguard. So we're pretty much free to do whatever we want to for now. Then I suppose we should do some research. See if we can't find someone in the city or out of the city who knows something about this weapon. I'll do a little Maybe digging and see it. if I can find anyone who might be able to help out with the situation. Give me a little bit of time. I'll see what I can dig up anyway. All right. Thank you. Uh, in the meantime... Speaking of the bar, I guess, should we maybe go see the others? Definitely. It might be a good idea to go check on everyone, see how everyone's doing. It's been kind of quiet since we all left uh, the debrief. I haven't really heard from anyone either. We've been through a lot. Maybe they're just trying to rest like we are. Uh, most likely, but uh, at, at this point, um, it's probably best we just do check on everyone to make sure they are alive anyway. All right. Uh, I guess Ash sends a message to the others asking if anyone's going to be doing some work or if, anyone, or if people are going to be meeting today before getting all their stuff together and leaving her apartment. All right, so for those who are awake at the moment, uh, you do receive this message uh, from Ash asking, uh, basically, you know, what's everyone up to and what where they're going to be at? Was well, thinking of gathering up, possibly at the bar, to get ideas straight. All right.
Okay, so Ash will head to the the uh, bar to meet up with everyone else. Okay. Uh, since we did get uh, the late arrival, uh, he says I'm cleaning up the bar, fixing anything. Well, I'm just cleaning it up. I still need to fix something. He said well, it in chat. That's why I can read it. Okay. So we'll just kind of um, pick it up from there then. So you'll already be at the bar as um, everyone will congregate over there first. Yay! We're back at the bar. <laughs> back at the bar. Woo. And it's not burned down. Drinking. And I'm assuming that Diablo also receives this message. Yep. Uh, Go ahead, Red. Everyone uh, who would be awake at this time. So, yep, everyone would have received the message. Okay. Wait, which message? Uh, uh, the, the message Ash uh, basically asking what everyone's up to, where everyone's going. Oh, I just ignore it. Damn, okay. Wow. Damn, wow. I was just reading what that hurts. That hurts. Put up, so that hurts. Doing that, so. Um, I don't really respond. I didn't think either, we were but friends, like, but damn, okay. No, listen, I got distracted by a shiny item, okay? <laughs> don't you raven. fucking dare be You're another raven, raven, you little <laughs> shit! <laughs> you are not raven. You will never be raven. If anything, okay. I sh technically should be the one because I'm the one that's obsessed with shiny, but no, Diablo isn't. <laughs> but it's such a nice looking simple blade. But no, uh, <laughs> Diablo sees the message and she glances off over at Polaris. And Diablo shoots a message back saying, I'm just doing some stuff and mostly researching new weapons blueprints. I will, pro I will meet up with you guys at the bar at a later time in the day. Is what she replies. All right. I just said bar. <laughs> I said. <laughs> That's it. All right. So the replies have been sent out. And for those of you who are going to the bar right away, you guys will meet there first. And we will start with that group. So who would be at the bar first? I know Uros would be there. Uh, Diabla is at the library. Uh, Theo, I, I think you're going to the bar first, right? Uh, yeah, I, I did think of going to the bar, yeah. And Singe is, is distracted by Shiny, and then Ash is going to the bar. And Elias yes. is already there fixing stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, and Elias is already... Uh, He's right, he's behind the bar cleaning glasses. He's cleaning and fix anything that might be broken or little. I'll be able to talk here in a minute. I just gotta really go to the bathroom, so yeah. yeah. You do your thing. It's okay. Yep. Yep. You're okay. you're in the you're in the back right now, so everyone else can just kinda meet up with them. I know which item now. <laughs> Reading chat. <laughs> Not the chat in that chat. That chat in Discord chat. Yep. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, you guys will rendezvous in the bar first, and you guys, this is your time to have your own little conversation. <sighs> Morning to y'all. So Ash comes in, she is visibly fucking, like, exhausted. She looks worse than normal. I guess I can't say we all had a good sleep. No, I don't <clears throat> think so. Uh, does Ash look like a mess right now, or what? They're about as much as a walking dead as an exo can be. Uh, yeah, I didn't know you guys could look that bad. Okay. Neither did I. Uh, yeah. I've been having issues with everything. 
Clearly. Have you touched DB something? just kind of floats over Uros' shoulder. <clears throat> it's that gun, isn't it? Oh, God, are you touching it again? I, I mean, I kind of figured it was most likely the gun that was doing it. The whole high magic stuff. I mean, it, that green sickly glow, like, just looking at it just makes me feel ill. Yeah, that's some bad Which, feeling. I don't think I can feel ill, because I'm a ghost, and I don't have a stomach. But yeah. I feel like when I look at that thing, if I had one, it would probably be turning. Yeah, that's some bad juju. Uh, I don't want to touch that. Let me go touch that. It's worse than it's been. It's worse than it's ever been. It's usually manageable, but I don't know. Something either something's changed or the weapons had enough. Maybe your exposure to it is slowly wearing away on you. Your willpower is draining. Maybe. I'm looking into some solutions. Maybe I can find someone who knows how to cleanse the thing. Well, uh, if I was to harbor a guess, and this is DB, mm -hmm. if I was to harbor a guess, uh, maybe someone in the Cryptarchy? Uh, I've heard of this weapon before. Um, a guy with a hand can, very dangerous, killed by another guy with a different hand can, and also very dangerous. Um, he formed a group. Um, oh, what was it called? The something of yore. The shards of yore. The the shadows of yore. I'm I'm fuzzy on the details, but. They all recreated versions of this weapon, and they don't seem to harbor the same symptoms that you do. So, someone knows how to cleanse it, or at least how to make it so the whispers are manageable, maybe? It's as good a place to start as any. I'll have to look into it. Uh... I don't... I'd rather not get too many people involved. Uh, I'd be very careful, though. Hmm. They're not to be underestimated. They may be guardians, but they're not necessarily the nicest guardians. I thought Delphos were pretty bad uh, light bears before. Uh, that's about all I got as far as what that thing is, anyway. Hope it helps, but, eh, still, I wouldn't want to walk down that path. Well, at least it seems uh, I'm not going to be the only one trying to look for someone to help. Well, for help. Uh, turns out that, uh, that soldier module ship thingy that I have in my head that let me to do the cool shooty things uh, got snapped when I, my head got crushed. Uh-oh. That's... That does not sound good. Uh, yeah. Considering what Nova said was that I might have a risk of going haywire, which doesn't sound good whatsoever. So, uh, I'm going to find a specialist who could potentially help, uh, being the only specialist I currently know that would probably still be alive, being Amelia. So, I'm going to try to find her, most likely in, uh, in the town. I, I forgot what the town name was again. But if, if, we, if I go there, she'll... Probably still be there or somewhere in the city. Stonehorn. What was it? Stonehorn. Stonehorn. Yeah, we she'll probably still be in Stonehorn or in somewhere in the city. 
It's more just trying to actually find her at this point, since at least for us, it hasn't been a while, but for her, it's been years. I mean, we've seen her. Sorry, I'm speaking out of character, by the way, to you. Well, yeah. Because I'm still getting my shit set up. But, yeah, we've been there because when we did the raid on um, the space station, we had to get those fucking arrows from her. Oh, yeah, sorry, my internet just completely disconnected on me. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, yeah, because we, we, did, we did go to her after we did get fucking time warped shit. <sighs> But I mean, it's still, it's still, you know, same thing. It's it's better to get acquainted once again. Plus, she might be able to fix the chip in my head and possibly help with anything else hidden. Great, Mister House. Damn, my phone's just blowing up right now. Why? Wow. Just mm, chip. <laughs> you just you burn that said my goddamn window. We know Chase is fucking up. So you good, Dave? I think so. It seems to be stable for the moment. But yeah, it's if anything, I, I would think Amelia might be able to help with this whole chip snap thingy, as well as possibly discovering anything hidden within my data bank. It's Chrome well, Dome. It would make sense. I mean, it, it you know coming from the person who made the technology, right? Because, I mean, who knows? Maybe I might have, like, guns in my hands, for example. I, I actually, I, that would be kind of cool. Yep, yeah, so we kind of have, uh, we got our own plan, uh, actually. Uh, Eros uh, is going to be going up to see the Awoken Queen. And we got our own questions, uh, for her as well. So, seems like we all, we all got our own agendas for what's to go on next. Indeed so. I'll have to wait and see what the others have to say. Yeah, whenever they want to get up. Oh, they're up. Um... They're wandering about. Singe is over at the market, and Diablo is over at the Cryptarchy. Oh, I figured he was probably still asleep since he didn't reply. Uh, no. Just seems like he ignored the message. Sounds like him. Hmm. Looks interesting. What's this over here? <laughs> You don't need this little fucking crazy. And you say make chili and fries? <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, it seems that they've. It's, hold they, the free, they give me made, free samples. Let me take some. It, it seems that they made this strange malcolmation called a chili dog. God damn it. Now I want a chili dog. <laughs> Throw some onions on there. Hmm. I didn't know we had Sonic in the party. Running around at the <laughs> feet of sound. <laughs> bring, bring, bring. Well, I am blue already ish, so I mean <laughs> I mean I mean blue is is blue and is all about electricity. You ever felt like being stabbed? <laughs> I have a feeling you just turned stare Oh, I, I was. I was. <laughs> I can feel it. 
feel the murder I mean, emanating from you. I mean, am I wrong though? You did have Mercer, the ability I... of super speed. Mercer. Mercer. I do not have that ability anymore. But you did. Did. And I will find more black hole energy just to fucking kill you again, just like that. <laughs> oh gosh. Or dark energy or dark matter. Dark matter is the worst. Yeah, fucking still waking up over here. <laughs> um no, then hopefully when they do come back around, hopefully they'll have some input. I also did want to bring up another topic. Uh does that did anyone somewhat figure out with the whole timey wimey stuff on if we're going to poof or just made the world we came from a both what was the multi multiverse? Was that right, Nova? Um If it was gonna I happen don't... it would have done it already. Yeah, yeah I, I the don't universe think we're... two days to unmake us. Yeah, it doesn't seem likely that we're gonna go poof per se. Um we're obviously still here, but I don't know if even if we finish whatever it is we're gonna finish, if we're ever gonna go back to the way things were. We might be just here where we are for the long haul. I mean, as long as I don't go poof, I'm, that's good enough for me. He says that, and then he pops like a fucking balloon. <laughs> well, ah! Nothing says that. By the way, I know which armor I want now, by the way. Just like, just yep, that's fine. Um, Just uh, uh, DM it over to me, and then um, over the next session Ooh, here, we'll be, we'll be getting that ad in here. You won't be needing it for now, so don't worry about it. All but right. yeah, just DM it to me, and we'll get added into your character sheet. I'm I'm sitting at the bar and I'm just swirling some water in a cup and kind of just generally ask everyone, has anybody else heard from Remy? Not really looking I'm, at I'm sorry. Uh, repeat that. Is Has anybody heard from Remy? No. I, I haven't gotten anything. anything. I, I checked my messages just in case. If something's popped up. Mm, you check your messages, but uh, you haven't received anything from her specifically. Um, given the time frame, Eros, she, she's probably back in the past at the moment. It sounds weird to say it like that. That's what I was going to say. She may be on her way back. Paradox will actually jump in. No, her ghost is still in the city. I'm kind of oh. just swirling the glass, still just looking at it. Is she not with her ghost? Oh, no. Uh, she's... I mean, I would assume she's got to be with her ghost. Uh, but they've been moving about the city. I don't exactly have their pinpoint location, but I still have been tracking her ghost around town. But she's been on the move quite a bit. I just send a message over to her ghost, just asking if the both of them are okay, since we haven't heard from them. We, DB tried first, I tried too as well. We didn't get anything back, so... Just figured I'd ask you guys. See what's going on. See uh, so... A few moments pass, but uh, you don't receive any kind of a text response. Well, she's moving about the city, so maybe she's looking into something. Um, maybe. Or we gotta make her talk, one of the two. Um, I don't think we can really make her well, do anything. You know what I mean, like, actually talk to her in person. Well, that's the other thing, is... We would have to catch up to her first, and uh, like I said, she's kind of moving up about in a way that 
I think is purposely so she can't be found. Mm. Either way, I'll keep an eye on her ghost location, and if it does happen to change or she happens to leave the city, I'll certainly let everyone know. But I think kind of given what's happened and certainly that last encounter with Gaul and the Traveler, uh, who knows, maybe something changed within her. I mean, she was hit by that same beam that hit Gaul, but it just sent her flying and disintegrated what was left of him. So, I guess when it comes to Remy, all we can do is just kind of wait and wait for her to come around and see what she says. Mm. I just look at Eros at the bar, um, still with his drink, and say, send a message to her just telling her the bar is always open if she never needs a place. Yeah. Okay. Put together the message, send it off to her, and then just go back to swirling the drink and looking down at it. All right, uh, so we're going to quickly jump over to Star over at the Cryptarchy. Okay. Star, <laughs> you are in the middle of this massive library, and you see this awoken Cryptarch kind of behind this desk. And he's he's kind of tapping on these consoles, looking over... These computers. Looks like he's sifting through some data. Diablo is rather nervous, but she's really trying not to show it. As she is looking around the cryptarchy and just trying her best to figure out how she is going to approach this subject that's rather sensitive to her. But The cryptarch behind the desk kind of looks up at you as you're kind of standing there a bit hesitantly towards the door. Can I help you, Titan? Diablo notices she has her hands clenched into fists as she relaxes them. I have some questions, but they're extremely personal matter. While you're making a better wall than doorway, come, come, step inside. <laughs> Bottle of cryptarchs. Damn it, now I got to go back to a straight face. <laughs> uh, Diablo looks at him and just kind of tilts her head a little bit. And she walks towards him trying to Menacingly. relax <laughs> Fucking damn it i i'm not sure how to ask this where then ask it plainly sometimes the easiest way to ask a question is to just plainly ask it. 
I had an encounter with an Ahamkara. Uh, it gave me promises to find my history, find out what my origins are. Oh, so you're inquiring upon wish magic. That, and I would also like to see if there's any information about exos and if it's possible to find where i came from well you certainly have a tall order the first one that might be able to better answer for you but uh the second one um that is a Easy question, but a very complex answer. So I will start with the first one. Uh, Ahamkara, uh, when it comes to wish magic, we do have an archive on wish magic. Uh, there's quite a bit of information that we did manage to reobtain. Um, through our losses of the Great War. Um, it's mostly archived knowledge of interaction of Guardians and Ahamkar before the Great Hunt. I can forward its volumes to you, and you can sift through them if you wish. Although, it may not provide you much information. The accounts are... You, some are first-hand, some are third-hand knowledge, so the stories might be a little embellished and perhaps exaggerated a bit. Hmm. That is good to know. Um, Regarding Exo Origin, however, um, the simplest answer is... Exo Origin is the Deepstone Crypt. The long answer is the Deepstone Crypt is at the moment lost to us. We have no knowledge of its location. We know it's somewhere on Neptune, but I'm afraid that's all we know. Hmm. Diablo's shoulders slump just slightly, but she quickly picks them back up. Well, I do appreciate your help, Master Crypt Dark. Thank you. If you are, however, looking into the Deepstone Crypt, there is one person you might be able to reach. Um, it's not a guarantee, but I may know someone who knows someone. I'll forward their information to you. Or rather, I'll forward their informa your information to them. They'll likely be the ones to reach out to you in this matter. Diablo first tilts her head ever so slightly, and then she raises it. If she remembers correctly, that usually means it's uh, under the table stuff. Black market kind of a deal. So she nods. That is understandable. And I do appreciate that. Even if it's a little information, any information is greatly appreciated. At the least, it gets you in somewhat the right direction. But again, these things are relative. Mm. Yes. On a lighter note... What 
has been the most popular gun blueprints lately. I have a weapons, I am a weaponsmith by trade, and I'd like to learn some new blueprints to help keep my mind busy. Well, uh, as far as weapons, um, you really want to talk to Banshee44 about that. He's our gunsmith, and he works on most of the stuff. He can certainly tell you what's most popular among Guardians these days. Uh, assuming, of course, he can remember it. Hmm. He, and again, he does have a terrible memory problem. And sometimes he kind of forgets what he was doing a few minutes ago. Hmm. Uh, he may not be the most reliable source of that information, but... I would say still talk to him anyway if you're looking into popularity of what weapons, um, what they would be among <laughs> other guardians. Mm -hmm. In terms of getting their blueprints, however, uh, we can forward you anything that we have under our current availability. However, we are still recovering a lot of our weapon blueprints that were lost from the Red War already, so we're still taking inventory. We can forward you more as we uncover them over time. That I would greatly appreciate. Thank you. Certainly. Now, were there any other matters I can assist you with? So far, that is all for today. Thank you again, Master Cryptarch. And with that, uh, I would assume Diablo got the uh, forwarded archived information about the Ahamkara, right? Yep, and it's it's a couple of volumes uh, worth of information. There's a lot of uh, short stories and secondhand accounts of uh, interactions of Ahamkara and Guardians uh, before and during the Great Hunt. Hmm. As Diabla turns and walks out, she whispers to Polaris, Would you mind reading all of that aloud to me, please, as I'm, walk as I'm going to find Banshee? Um, you want me to read it aloud? To me only, please, if you could. I don't know. I do not know if I will have time to sit down and dedicate reading. She is uh, literally getting Betty time stories. <laughs> I'm literally asking Polaris to become my audio, my audible. <laughs> Engage story time. I mean, I can process the information faster, but if you want, I can certainly read it out to you word by word if you wish. Oh, you're able. <laughs> he can give you the Cliff Notes version. <laughs> uh, either way, it probably would be easier for you just to give me the shortened version. Alright, so while you are going to be finishing up there, you, got, you two will be heading in the direction of the bar. Uh, Singe, um, outside of your armor shopping, was there any other shopping you were going to do before you were going to meet up with the group? Mm, no, I was just, I guess I was just wondering to see where my luck would take me, I guess. I don't know. Uh, you know what? Let's actually roll for that. Let's see where you're on. This is you how you end up to... getting secretly killed in the back alley with a knife in your gut. <laughs> I mean, I mean, listen, that just means that's just the hand that fate gave to me. See, don't follow the hot chick into the dark alley. That's where your fucking processor gets stolen. Now you lose your damn Bro, kidney. I'm someone from the future, please. <laughs> you, you're still just as capable of losing your kidneys. Oh, you very much so. But that doesn't mean <laughs> your robotic kidney. 
<laughs> he has his air filter taken out. <laughs> just because you're from the future doesn't mean you can't predict your own death. That's true, but that doesn't mean I'm going to chase down a woman down a dark alley. <laughs> Knowing Singe, though, I am he probably not, would. Well, I'm more after, like, if you if you bring an interesting weapon, then that'll be enough to bait me, if anything. <laughs> I would have expected that out of Diablo. Not, or, something, uh, or something that, what do you call it? That, something uh, that grabs his attention. Yeah, just mm -hmm. something that grabs my attention. <laughs> Um, so you're just proceeding through the marketplace. There's different varieties. There's there's a lot more food stands currently at the moment, uh, just because there's a lot more people doing uh, construction work around the, the surrounding buildings. Uh, so there's not really any more like weapons really that you're seeing per se around the market, because at the moment, there's just a lot more food. Interesting. Yeah, a Is lot of the problem? citizens that you're seeing are they're working on different construction projects, uh, repairing buildings, fixing up roads that uh, did have some little pot shots of damage, crater marks, etc. Mm -hmm. Is there any way that I can access a black market, perhaps? Oh, he really wants his kidney taken, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. Kitsune, what? He's wanting to donate his kidney so he can open his own bars so he can burn it down because he can't burn mine down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, so you're trying to find like a black market dealer? Well, it's more like I'm just wandering to see if any, but this is just a passing thought that I'm having. Like, I wonder if there's like some sort of black market dealer, perhaps. I mean, because what I'm trying to find is also just kind of like an underlying uh, like, uh, desire, which is just finding more about the past, my past. And everything. So you kind of wander around, and it's a thought that certainly comes to remember, your mind. Yeah, because remember, I'm an amalgamation of like of what you call it, Vex and. And what do you call it? It's fucking EXO. Yeah, EXO. Yeah, EXO. Uh, you call it parts. And I'm like, why did I end up this way? Why am I like the only one that was able to like gain consciousness even after hundreds of years or whatever? So, so to to answer your question about uh, the black market, um, you. It's something that does come to your mind. However, as you're wandering about, you're not really seeing anything that can stand out to you that says, like, this is, like, someone who might be associated to a black market. You're not really finding anything like that, per se. You imagine that there's there's probably one in existence, but you, without having any, like, personal connections or anyone in the know, you really have no idea where to go. <laughs> I just thought what of something. Is... Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it, it, it was a bad roll. That's that's just all it was. So what if I either go to oh, what do you call it? Hmm. I'm thinking because maybe I can talk. Wait, is what do you call it? We're not we're not in the current what do you call it? Period time of Destiny Two, right? No, you are. War. We are. Yeah, okay. you just finished we're, up Red War. Yeah, we're Red just War not at War. like the Witch Queen and shit we're like still that. Same NPCs and all that stuff, right? <clears throat> I was thinking maybe I could talk to an NPC and talk. That depends on who it is. Specifically, Lord Shax. See, he'll the one that runs the Crucible. Hey, so can, people. I mean, everyone can talk to Lord Shax if they wish. That's because he he's he's a very public figure. He makes himself very available to anyone who is oh, no, willing I to participate. I just wanted to see if he existed. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> At this point in time. Oh, oh yeah, he absolutely exists. Has like, oh. Shax existed <clears throat> since D one? He's been around yeah. since the beginning. Yeah. He, he was he was one of the original uh, uh, warlords. So he's been around for a very long time. 
old uh, man. Hey, Dave. Uh, uh, it's not uh, super important, but can, uh, can I send a message to somebody uh, in universe? Where's my yeah. goddamn bartender? Well, no, I would. There... Oh, hold on. There's a reason being. Who was his dad? Right. So I would <laughs> see. I've been wanting to get to that, but we've been trying to get everyone else's stuff in. Mm-hmm. Barton has been working in the kitchen. Uh, he's been helping because with all the construction that's been happening and the repairs around uh, the neighborhood, mm-hmm. the bar has been helping out as a soup kitchen. So he's been he's in the back kind of helping like get the the next batch of meals ready. Uh, for the next group of people that are going to be coming in for food. Okay, I just wanted to make sure he wasn't fucking dead or anything. Oh, no, no. Like I said, I just, we've been dealing with all the other characters here, just haven't yeah. had time to get to everyone else yet. So, yeah. No, he's he's in the back, He's he, but he's been working. I Instead of fucking having Uros moping around at the bar, I'm probably going to fucking kick him off of it and make him go work in the kitchen for a little bit. <laughs> get him to do something with his hands. Stop being sad! <laughs> Get up. I didn't say it was sad. I'm just looking down at the cup and watching it. <laughs> you so look like you just had your childhood dog kicked. How do you know? Maybe I did. <laughs> you didn't see it outside. You didn't see Fluffy out there. <laughs> he wasn't out there. No, I wouldn't mind. Go. I'll go in the kitchen. They'll kick me out of there, though. No, just moot and help them with whatever they need to. Actually, don't. Uh, is the pathway down still? The stairs that we. Yeah, it's still move? there. Yeah, yep. but it wasn't. It and uh, the kitchen is just down those stairs. Like it's it's oh. like literally on the other side of the door. Oh, okay. So and you can you can actually even hear like the the work like there's like vegetables and stuff being chopped up and being put into like a big uh, pot for a stew. Like you, yeah. you're hearing the sounds of, of work in the kitchen in the back. Yeah. So you can easily go back there and, and join that group. Okay. All right. Uh, so at this point, uh, Diablo and Singe, you guys will event will make your way over to the bar. And you okay. will rejoin the rest of the group. Sure. What's up, guys? All right. Tough crowd. All right. I said howdy, Jesus. <laughs> Ash is just kind of. Well, her head is just on the bar. She is not. She is not doing well. Diablo looks over at Ash and decides against talking to Ash. Like it's nothing personal, but it's like something tells me it. Like Ash is giving off, do not talk to me vibes. <laughs> yeah, I walk up to Ash specifically and say, "Hey, what's up, Ash?" <laughs> do not speak to me. <laughs> Why not? Are you doing okay? You feeling a bit under the weather? You, it's it's very hard to read in an expression, especially when someone who's like wearing their helmet. <laughs> Exactly. That's what I'm like. I just but you can them. you can read from Ash's body language, like they're exhausted. The gun is on Diablo? the counter, and she is occasionally like glancing her. So she she like has her she has the gun on the counter. She's holding it by the grip, and she is just she is fucking holding that thing tight. She's okay. Someone's not in a good mood. Hmm. Diablo nods in a to Elias where she wants and... to get rid of the gun, but she just she can't. Something about something within her is telling her to keep the gun. Uh, I'm seeing this from where I'm standing behind the bar, right? Oh yeah, no, she's at the bar. She's she is she is sitting at the bar. Is Thorn draining your stamina? Can I try a surprise roll and try and knock it out of her hand? <laughs> oh my god! Because here's the thing. You are technically sitting at my bar, pointing the gun at me behind the encounter unintentionally. Oh boy! 
I will let you roll sleight of hand to a, attempt to take it out of his hand. Uh, her hand? Uh, yeah, sure. Her, yeah, her hand, sorry. Uh, I actually got to pull up the list from the character sheet, so give me a second. Uh, you said sleight of hand? Yep. Uh, you're basically going to try it. Well, okay, you're not really trying now, are you? <laughs> what? What do you roll? What do you roll? What do you roll? Sorry. Nat twenty. Uh, uh you have you have to match a nat twenty, or it's gonna he's gonna or take what? it out of your hand. What am I rolling? Uh, um, dexterity, I believe. No strength. She's trying to hold on to it. Oh yeah, yeah, strength. Like, she's, strength. she's holding on to it. Sixteen. That's not yeah, good but, enough. Yeah, it still it, it's that natural twenty. So, Ash, you're like, you're too busy focusing on the gun, and then next thing you know, uh, it, it gets snatched out of your hand. And I immediately throw it into my inventory with a uh, paradox. Ash, Ash, like, feels the gun. She doesn't react when you take it, but as soon as it goes into, like, the, the little pocket, she just, like, her head shoots up. Ah. Uh, I I need that back. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I, I no, you don't. You You're like a drug addict. Do not understand. Okay, it tell is, me what's gonna happen. It is still talking. I hey. can still hear it, and it is pissed. Do you want me hey. to burn you? That way, that will distract you. You know, Diablo puts a hand on right. Singe's. Hold on, Singe, Diablo puts it. I want you to think for five seconds. I just this shout out real quick over everyone. Every everyone, be the. I got it. I just no, shout I out to everybody. I have Shut a the fuck up. Shit in my brain talking to me too. Singe. <laughs> I just shout over to everybody. Shut the fuck up. Do you know how fucking crazy you fucking sound? That a I gun know. is not. I, I, shut up. <laughs> You're in my bar. You shut the fuck up. Listen to me. How many times in history have we ever learned that a talking item is a good thing? <laughs> I mean, he has, a, he has a point. Diablo just looks at everybody and when she hears Elias say that and Don't question. she has no idea. <laughs> but I'm honestly waiting for a real answer to that question. Like, how many times have we had a good interaction with an item that talks to us? Would you also like an Ahamkara bone to go along with your fucking talking gun? I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on fixing it. That, no, you don't fix cursed items there, bud. You don't know that. <laughs> Oh, we yeah. Sure, let me pull down. the I can fix him card. <laughs> that gun has been with us from nearly the very start. All right. It's only just gotten this bad. And I drag said... Dragonfly will, will interject as well. <clears throat> we also have a lead on possibly getting that weapon cleansed. Well, Dragonfly... Do you agree that it is negatively affecting the person that wields it at the moment? Dragonfly kind of looks kind over of looks to dragonfly. the Ash and then back to you. I think if it doesn't get cleansed, whether it's in this possession or not, it'll only get worse. Yeah, it needs to be cleansed no matter what, but you can lower the effects of it by not wielding it constantly. Especially pointing it at me in my bar, unintentionally or not. I don't think you understand. It is still talking. It got louder after you took it. That is not it getting better. That is it getting much worse. Ooh, womp womp. <laughs> Okay, Dave, Dave, while they're all <laughs> arguing this out and dealing with this gun, I'm in the kitchen. What kind of foods are we preparing back there? I had, back, I had to the kitchen with soup. The soup. What kind of soup? Uh, yep. So yep. Food. There's a uh, there's a uh, two. Well, there's actually four big pots, and there's two different kinds of soups that are being made. Chicken soup. Chicken soup. 
You got right? yeah. Well, you got a beef stew and you got a big chicken noodle. I'm getting the chicken right. noodle. I'm gonna get you know uh, like some of each on a big tray, and uh, I'm gonna take it out to them so that way they have something to eat. Can I do that? You know you what? Know? We have a vegetarian option. It's a uh, tomato too. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, gotta include everyone. Uh, no, nah, super. we seem like assholes. No super you. <laughs> uh, so mm, tomato soup like actually does sound good right now, though. Uh, they the workers about need the protein, though. That's yeah, why they get beef and chicken. Yeah, there was chili dog earlier. I was like, damn, now I'm hungry. I want a chili dog. So I'd like to bring them out some soup, so that way they have some food to eat. So, well, who are you bringing the soup out to? Uh, the rest of them, you know, the rest of the gang out there. You know, they're hanging out at the bar. Well, I'm saying I'm mopey, so I'm trying to be cheerful and helpful, you know, to feed them. At least the ones who will eat it. Elias, what do you want? <laughs> I'd, I'd take some of that beef, too. So I'm going to come out with a tray just with, a, like, an assortment, so that way they can choose if they want. Oh, yeah, so you, you come out with, like, uh, about, like, six cups, like, three beef and three chicken. <clears throat> yeah. And you, you just kind of set out uh, in front of the group, and, and anyone can just grab a, a cup of whatever they want. Yeah, I thought you guys could use something to eat. We've all been running around so much here. <clears throat> and what is this about a gun? Don't worry about it. Um, or... Okay. Oh. That thing? If I may Wait. interject, Diablo's pipes up as she sidles up to the bar and quietly grabs a chick bowl of chicken noodle soup. <laughs> <laughs> just watching this bowl slowly. <laughs> Very slowly goes for the soup. Yeah. <laughs> just staring at her. Would it? If I may interject. <sighs> Would it be better to leave while I can see this gun is negatively affecting Ash? Would it be better to leave it in the hands of somebody who is clearly more experienced with cursed objects than what was it? What did you say it got louder when it was forcibly taken from you? Yes. Ash? Well, which I'm I assuming not... means it's also being loud right now, which also means it's probably not good that he's separated from it for very long, especially if it is cursed. I will say, on one hand, I do agree with the argument of trying to separate the cursed object from the cursed person, but I'd say just give the gun back as weird as it is to say. I... At, I look at, at, um... Fucking... Why is my mind going blank? Ash. And dead in the eyes. And say, if this gun starts changing you for the negative, I'm breaking it. All right. And if you hurt anyone innocent because it tells you to, you're going to die. Because that means you're too far gone. Understand? Yes. I hand the gun back over, but I'm setting it on the counter between us. Mm -hmm. That's Ash, the line in the sand. Ash takes the gun and uh, holsters it before just kind of laying her head back down on the bar. Ah, no, you eat. I slide up. And I'm setting a, um, either cup in front of her. Yeah, just slide the bowl over. Just, just give me a minute. I don't know. Ash is, like, yeah. Ash is just bare. Ash is like on the verge of just passing out right there because she has not slept. Okay. I don't know if it helps, but I use Blessed Repos just to alleviate something, I guess. 
Wait, we're not <laughs> Does Blessed you. Repose do anything about uh, points of exhaustion? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> it just yeah, that, that then is, no, it right doesn't now. do anything. She, is, <laughs> she has two points of exhaustion. She's not doing too hot. We're not feeding Diablo, me in the meantime, <laughs> she sits at the bar holding her cup of noodle soup and she cut is she Dave, would it be possible to kind of semi retract semi open up the helmet so that she can eat? I mean, you're gonna have to take helmet. off the helmet to eat. Little Miss Iron Man. Diablo just looks over at. Did you hold on? Did you say that in character? No. I, <laughs> no. You know no, what? Didn't. You know what? Or, yes. <laughs> Diablo just yes. looks over. Diablo just looks over at him. You can't. Re, you can't see her expression. So she body language up, says a lot. Ah. <laughs> Like, I see what she was trying to do with her helmet to not take it off so she could eat, and I just go, all right, Iron Man. <laughs> she just you gets can't, up and you goes can't over see to... her face, but you can. You get that feeling of she's staring daggers at you through that helmet. <clears throat> just take off the helmet, goofball. You're only among friends. You're safe here. You're among friends. You can take it off. I mean, I had an identity crisis. What's your excuse for wanting to keep your helmet on? <laughs> Something I would rather not talk about at this time. If you'll excuse me. Uh, Diablo picks up the bowl and goes to a more quieter part of the restaurant. Or part of the establishment. I don't know. So yeah, there's a quiet little corner on at the edge of the restaurant you can go sit down in. A quaint little <coughs> corner. So anyone still down on burning down this place? Do I hear him as say that? As soon as Dia before nah, you're Diablo out of earshot. <laughs> Damn it. Because if she was still in earshot, she would whip around, set down the bowl gently, and punch him in the face. I dodge, or at least I try. And I rolled to dodge. Out. So before oh, this goes warhammer. any further, I'm going to give you one chance to say that was above character, or I will let them roll to see if something happens. You got to remember, I threatened to kill you last time if you tried to burn these... down my fucking bar. I'm, we we all threaten to kill you because we I am giving you an reason. out to retract that because I'm going to warn you these guys are not going to take it at all lightly. You even remotely thinking the idea of burning down this bar. Yeah, because this was all of our hard work put together okay, to be able to buy this. I'll think around. about it. It's fine. I'll think Who am I shooting? You fucked around. You're gonna find out. To find out. I'll think really. about it, but I'm just playing with fire in my hands. That's <laughs> so I'm gonna ask you, did you really say that aloud? I said I'll, I'll said I think about it, but I'm what do you call it? I'm playing okay, if so he says do, he thinks honestly. I think uh, I'm thinking about this... I'm playing with fire in my hands. That's a... my hands but this is an game. internal monologue you're having, right? You're not saying this aloud. Yeah. I'm just like oh, playing okay. like okay. fire, internal monologue. I I'm watching him like a fucking hawk. <laughs> it's like a coin. It's like a little coin of fire. I'm just like, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna flick a bottle cap at him to get his attention. I dodge it. <laughs> that, no. no, you're distracted, no. bud. You're distracted. I'm just no. I can, bro. Listen, I have... you're distracted playing with a coin I, of fire. Excuse me. A coin... No, 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 no. Listen, listen, hear me out. Listen, listen. According to what they've discussed about my character, I have a bunch of processes, which means that I can perform calculations even faster than Axel. I can perform even so faster. That means I have a chance to at least roll to dodge. So on that, you're going to roll dexterity with advantage. However... 
Uh, because this is also he's gonna throw it at you. Um, it's gonna be competing dexterity throws. Also, so I was gonna say it's not trying to do damage; it's getting his attention. So it's gonna be a saving throw. Uh, yep. Yeah. Because <clears throat> uh, you're trying to catch it, and he's throwing it at you, so you need to beat a seventeen. All right. Well, this is with that advantage. How much is the advantage? And it's advantage. It's just advantage. It's just on your advantage. Oh, it's just advantage. Okay. Yep. Up twenty. Huh. I win. Too bad. So he's just trying to get your attention. He he he's not aiming at your head. But he's he's kind of like throwing it in your general direction, and you do manage to catch it. Uh, did you want to say something? Or I proceed to just burn the bottle cap. Did you want to say? You something? put that goddamn fire away, or else I will put you down. I still remember your threat against my goddamn bar. It's not really a threat. It was more like a strategic thinking at the since I didn't know this. No, was there was there. no strategic thinking at the time. Uh, yeah, we had to evacuate underground, and we were... Through a hidden us. tunnel underground. Exactly, which means that they could have followed us as well. Hidden! So I, once again, there's, we can't rule out the possibility of being followed. So I threw out a suggestion. Still, as a bar owner, I I Icarus, is even, I Icarus is even going to kind of, like, join over and, like, getting in front of you, like, you don't want to die on this hill i know i don't but it, honestly it's just a strategic thinking uh, of me at the, at the uh, moment you, you since i didn't take five and seconds. you guys need to understand that i was new to, to the group then that doesn't mean i'm gonna do it now obviously since i know how valuable it is. I, i'm just thinking lo i was just thinking powerful. logically at the moment and you aren't thinking logically now so I don't understand why you I'm thinking logically there's a person playing with fucking fire in my bar. Then all you have to ask is to please don't oh. play with fire in my bar. That's all you did have I to not he did ask that? that. No, he said I still remember your threat about playing no, with fire. And I said, said it. now stop playing with fire in my bar. Or else I'll put you down. Is that all yeah. a threat? Or is that Which is a valid fucking thing? threat? Exactly. A threat. How am I supposed to take a threat? Wouldn't it have also been logical to break the tunnel instead of burning down the place? Since even if the, if you burn down the place, they could just swap the rubble and then just still followed. Not if the debris is mixed up with the other wrecked buildings around the buildings at the moment. I mean, the... But then again, one. yes, that's a good suggestion. However, did anyone bring up that suggestion at that moment? No, I was just bringing up an idea. And y'all took it as a threat. <laughs> At the moment. That's it. Yeah, because it's our home. I understand that now. Then I didn't. I was newly appointed to the group. I was newly appointed to the group. How many times do I have to hold say on. that? Wasn't, hold on, hold on. No, you were there when we bought it. I joined after, didn't I? Like, you guys found no. me in the cavern. No, you were. Oh, then this was the moment that I wasn't able to play then. Probably be when I was working overnight then. Because I'm pretty sure either it was one of those moments or it was one, it was after you guys found me in a, or that, um, this girl found me in the, in the, in a cavern. Because you weren't a season three person, you were a season two person. Mm -hmm. Because you went with us through the time skip. Yeah, that was the moment. Yeah, that was the moment that I, what do you call it? Went yeah. through the time. Yeah, the time fucking, yeah. So, like, you were around, I air quote this, around when we bought the bar. Exactly. I, and oh, you wow. should also know of Barton. I'm saying this out of character. The, of Barton the old underground boss's son that works in the kitchen as a bartender for us. What? Well, I obviously know him now since afterwards, but like, when we bought it. But, in character, just stop playing with fucking fire in my bar. 
I'm not going to risk having it burned down because of an accidental fuck up. All right, that's fine. But I don't take kindly to threats. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Well, then I take it as a threat of you playing with fire in my bar that can burn down. Understood. However, you need to realize that I also have a stat <laughs> as a warlock that allows me to decide whether I want to burn things or not. I can also charge things. Means I can still fuck up. No one's perfect. No, I understand that, but I'm just saying, just next time, say it in a nicer way. Icarus is going to bonk you on, on the head. I have, full, <clears throat> I have full control of the void, and you don't see me making little black holes everywhere. No, no, I understand that. I just, what do you call it? Trying to it's... alleviate the. Can Diablo hear this conversation? By uh, you're a bit of ways away, so make a perception for me. Oh, she's that. doing that. I just look at Ash and go, You can make tiny little black holes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can ask like me that at one point. Anything. Like, not nah, that. It's that not like just sounds affected. cool. They just kind of exist. Well, you want to play catch later outside? I'll throw fireballs at you and you uh... put them through the void. <laughs> lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! You lightning will. Bolt. <laughs> uh, you, you will actually uh, hear the conversation going on over there. Diablo leaves her helmet at the table, gets up, and walks over to Singe. Oh, no. Don't fight my bar. I'm not. Singe, I also can wield fire. She brings out a flaming hammer. Oh god, there's more fire. <laughs> and I will Please and I will say I won't Eliza I would like to make a bet. I would like to make a point. Just because we wield fire does not mean we get to play with it. I, she I'm puts gonna... her hammer away and then walks back to her table. I'm gonna move over to the fire that, yeah. arm and just be ready to pull that, it. But I hope you know I'm not really scared of I'm not really scared of death with or without my ghost because honestly I have nothing to live for right now. I'm cruising it. Diablo just stops and looks at him. That doesn't mean you get to play with anybody else's things. I understand. Or their livelihoods. I will and leave I it at that. that. I will leave However, it at that. There is no however. I will leave it at that. Conversation over. I shall go back to my food. Nom noms. Very well. So she goes back and sits back down at her table. Just keeping an eye on things. I just extinguished the fire. That's it. And proceed just to tap my fingers then. On the bar counter. Uh, actually, I just walk outside of the floor. That's it. All right. Um, so, at the moment, you guys have pretty much let everyone know what everyone's agenda is. Um, Uros, <clears throat> uh, you do receive a message that... Uh, your ship is ready for departure to go out to the reef. Is it a borrowed ship? Because I don't have a ship anymore. It <laughs> is a new ship that has been issued to you by the Vanguard. Woo! Is it a nicer one than my old one? Or is it just a busted-ass old-looking thing? It is. It's certainly an upgrade to the one you had. Woo! I'll take it. Hey, could it you can get? <coughs> Is it painted at least? You know what? <laughs> For fun, I will let it be whatever legendary frame you want it to be. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'll think about it, okay? Oh, damn, man, you're giving me choices here. All right. Uh, I, yep. I, Not exotic, legendary. <laughs> All right. I'm standing there. Well, um, I've got an invite to go see the queen. Oh. And they have my ship ready, so yeah, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go there, see what I can find out, and also do, and we'll see what happens. Yay! <laughs> Don't die. Gonna try not to as I walk out the door, kind of breaking voice. <laughs> 
Uh. All right. So, Uros, <clears throat> you're making your way over to uh, the hangar bays. Uh, but before you do, uh, you, uh, Remy actually will walk up beside you. I kind of sl- uh, do. I see her kind of walk up next to me, or am I just kind of? Would I even notice? <laughs> roll her? perception. Oh, see, I was waiting for that. Oh, and I'm gonna roll it. stealth to see if she sneaks up on you. Probably. Uh, where's my perception? This one. Oh no, you're you will you'll see her. Uh, so I she kind of comes out of the crowd a little bit. So she is wearing her helmet. Uh, so you don't really see her face, but you recognize her right away. I slow my pace so that way. It's like we're kind of walking just a little slower. I uh, see so you possibly got my message. I'm not really looking um, at her. I just know she's there. So She's kind of just walking with you. She's... You can't really see her face... But you can tell, like, she's trying to think of how she wants to say this. I just spit it out. I've had an interesting 24 hours. Um, I slow down even more. She, no, she kind of grabs your arm and she kind of pulls you to keep going, keep walking with her. Okay. <clears throat> you need to take me with you. That makes me dead stop. Why? I... I don't know why. But I know she knows. Okay. Okay. You need to bring me with you. Okay. Come on. Then we're going. Okay. I was expecting a little bit more hesitancy from you, but... There he is. But you need answers. I need answers. (coughs) And... How have you been since the fight? Uh, where would I even start? I had a dream. A dream? I'm flying out in the stars. Like an eagle, just flying across the flying across the sky I'm out among the asteroids in the reef <coughs> sorry I can see this pillar of light and darkness I do know what she's talking about, right? Been yeah, Be- yeah, because y- you, in in the little presence that you've had with the Awoken Queen, she's describing pretty much what you feel internally. Like, she is a beacon That's... to the Awoken people. She is a beacon to you. You, as an Awoken deep down have like an internal compass to tell you where she is yeah i remember that okay (laughs) so she's just kind of describing in a visual aspect kind of what you feel internally but she's seeing it through a dream i'm Yeah, I know we're both. I approach this pillar and something just tells me that 
she knows why I'm there. Well. It's it's hard to describe and even harder for me to understand, but I just know that she can answer my question. Well, I will gladly take you along to find out if we can find some answers for you. Thank you. I hope I'm not going to be too much of a problem for me to tag along. No. It might be good. To, uh, I can talk with you a little more. Then we can figure out what's going on when we get there. Maybe she will have answers for you. But I think she will have an answer for you. They gave me a new ship, so at least we get to ride in something a little better than my old one. It was so uncomfortable. Uh, well, I do have a ship of my own now. Um, also thanks to the Vanguard. Uh, I did have a fairly long conversation with them about what happened, and at least what I could remember. They kind of told me some of the rest, at least from what they had accounts on anyway. I, um... I think I might have killed someone. Do you know who? And why? He was a solar hunter. I don't know the whole story, but apparently a group of guardians who were helping civilians evacuate, came across where I was fighting. They were told to continue helping the civilians, but the hunter in their group, well, he was being a hunter, I guess, and he... He came to help me anyway. I don't remember seeing him or even knowing he was there. Anything else at all during that time? Her eyes just kind of like veer off and just kind of start looking down. I put my Not hand really. On. I just put my hand on her shoulder. You may remember, you may not, but you weren't yourself at that moment. We'll figure things out. Why don't we go see the queen? Maybe she can give more answers. Maybe I can help. Yeah. Me. I hope I'm right when it comes to these visions. And with that, you two will proceed to the hangar and you guys will go aboard your ships. Well, now we are going to jump over to uh, Theo. Yep. <clears throat> so you're going to be reaching out to Amelia. Yep. Um, so you do send out a, a call. And... You do re it does take a few minutes, but you do receive a message back. And a vid link uh, pops up. 
Open it up. And you see a fairly older, probably looking now when you saw her last, she was looking to be in her teens. Now here she's looking to be at least in her uh, late 30s. And she just kind of looks at you just a little bit somberly. Theo 11. Melia. It's been a very, very long time. Hold on. I'm sorry, interjecting for a half second. It hasn't been that long. We had to go see her to get the arrows for the mission to the space station. It was fairly brief, though. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. we Wait. didn't get a chance to properly talk yeah but i was just saying like it hasn't been that long and i thought she looked like she was in her late 20s not 40s or 30s 30s eh. and same difference i i just want to make sure she, she, she's still young she's still young <laughs> you are not God here, motherfucker. Shut up. <laughs> I will outrun it. I will become Barry Allen. It was me, Barry. It was me, I... Barry. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish that line. Do it. <laughs> We're not streaming or anything. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> going back. It was me who jerked you off at the speed of light. <laughs> God, Jesus. God damn it. All right. Uh, it definitely has been a while. And also, when we were able to talk, it was very brief and didn't exactly get to go into further detail on something. And I'm assuming that something is. Uh, that old piece of tech sitting around in your skull. Hmm. Yeah, there's uh, been a bit of a recent update to that. Uh, that old junk now is actual junk. Uh, my head. You got see, you're kind of leaning closer and into the the monitor. What do you mean? So during the last battle. Uh, my head got crushed. Uh, of course, came back because Guardian. But the uh, chip, since it's not originally part of my body, it didn't get fixed with me. So it's currently snapped in my head. Hmm. Well, that's certainly a problem then, isn't it? Yeah, considering my ghost said that if if worse comes to worse, I could go haywire. And since you're more the only person I knew at the time that was getting into exo science stuff, I figured that you might have a better understanding of it now. Well. That was a bit of a pet project of mine some time ago. I still have my notes on everything from then. <clears throat> um, I have to really refresh myself up on the subject. It really has been quite a while since I've even worked on an EXO. <clears throat> but um, now I'll certainly see what I can do to help. Um, Great. Would you be know. able to send me over the scans of your of your uh, my brain. cranial area? Yeah. Perfect. Nova. I'll go look toward him. No, just nods, and you 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 see his eye kind of moving a little bit as he's transmitting the data over. All right, I'll start looking everything over in time for you to get here. 
Uh, I'm assuming you're going to be on your way here soon. Yeah. Hopefully it won't take too long. Well, don't be in too much of a rush anyway. I'll still need a little time to look this stuff over. Um, in the meantime, um, how is the last city? We've been hearing some interesting reports, and there was a rush of, like, a wave of light that kind of washed over the mountain a few days ago. That could have very well been, uh, the fight that happened. Uh, light of sorts came from the Traveler and striked uh, Callus, I think it was. That could have been the light that you're speaking of. I don't know it fully. So, did the Traveler reawaken? Uh, yeah, it, it was trapped, then it got freed, thanks to our efforts. So it's back in the sky, spreading the light as it is. And as with the city, the rebuilding project is going underway. Well, it's definitely bad how many buildings were destroyed. Well, at least things are doing better. Last we heard, uh, Cabal were invading, and things were bad pretty much all over the entire area. Things were fairly quiet around here, but the the Fallen seemed to be a bit more nervous than they used to be. But we haven't really had any problem with them. Our defenses have been holding up just fine. But uh, it might be nice to have a Guardian around here for a little while. But, anyway, I'll get everything ready for your arrival. In the meantime, you take your time getting here, and you travel safe. Yeah, and study safe. If that's even possible. Are you able to... Is study safe even a thing? I don't think you can study dangerously. Hmm. You what can about... experiment dangerously. But studying? Mm, I don't think you can do that. She kind of winks. Yeah. If I, well, if anything, I'll I'll get there as soon as if I can, as soon as I can. All right. Well, then I will see you soon. And the vidlin cuts. All right. Let me get that spare up and running again. All right, uh, so among the rest of you, who would like to go next? If no one else will go, uh, Diablo will be up next. All right, um, so for you, uh your your kind of personal quest with this um what are you looking to do first diabla is gonna quietly ask polaris if she's got any spark notes version of the volumes that she's obtained uh so <clears throat> Polaris has been sifting through uh, the information on the Ahamkara. Um, in terms of the cliff notes on uh, Wish Magic, uh, they pretty much read it like this. Wish Magic is profoundly volatile and extremely dangerous. It is considered to be something of a monkey's paw whenever you're wishing for something. 
you have to be extremely careful in the wording of your wish. For if you word it in a way that is very loose and gives them flexibility, the Ahamkara can twist that wish into something much more dark and sinister. But that's not always the case with every Ahamkara. Some will turn the wishes into something not exactly negative, but not exactly what the wisher was intending. Hmm. They're not evil by nature themselves. They are creatures of personality. They have their own thoughts and desires, but they feed on the wishes of others. It is their lifeblood. Outside of this information, was there anything else you were looking for in particular? Oh, I just wanted to know a little bit more about my enemy. Well, because... the Ahamkara were hunted almost to the point of extinction. They're not immortal, although it is said that even the dead Ahamkara can speak through their bones. Hmm. I think we've seen examples of that with our recent fight. That would make a lot of sense. In fact, the, using it as a method of its control almost would seem to fit its M.O. This particular Ahamkar that we've been dealing with, though, does seem to have a particular personality trait that the others never seem to exhibit. This one was the one we've been facing and encountering. <clears throat> it's very angry. It's resentful. It wants revenge. Hmm. It was, it's being driven by pain and hurt of its own. Perhaps the fact that its species was hunted to extinction, or at least nearly to the point of, was enough to fuel its anger. Honestly, we I don't, don't blame them. We don't know the exact origin of where this particular Ahamkar had come from. From the stories that I was able to gather from the others is that <clears throat> it comes from a distant future. A future before they met us. And... It was a Ahamkara skeleton, a complete one, that they had encountered, or rather, the one who turned into God Hen Hen encountered. It's... I'm, I'm not completely up on all of the details, but the long and short of it, from what I understand, is that we're dealing with a multiversal problem, and it might even be a closed loop. It's something like the chicken and the egg. The one who created uh, the one who calls himself Godhan is the one who becomes him. But the one who made him is no longer the one who makes him, because he's the one who destroys him. There is a curse in play involving 
Eros, and the Sahamkara. Or excuse me, Elias. Diablo locks eyes with, or eye or however you want to call it. Diablo believe, locks eyes with Polaris. I believe the entire team might actually be cursed by the Sahamkara. It might explain why it's particularly linked with Elias, not just for the visible reasons, but perhaps something more deeper that we don't fully understand. Everything I've been able to read, though, at least from the accounts that are given, does suggest that there might be a curse at play. And if there is a curse at play, there might only be one person who can really answer the question on how we can fix it. And that would be the Awoken. So this whole time that Diablo was listening to Polaris, she's been thrumming her fingers, fingers in thought. And they paused when Polaris mentioned uh, that fucking plot twist of information. Another thrumming again, as Diablo is thinking. I honestly have no idea what to do with, infor with that information. I feel like that is completely out of my league of thinking. Even though I just said that. Well, uh, I don't really think there's any way I can put it simpler. Elias is cursed, and the curse might extend to his entire team. And if I'm being candid, your most recent interaction with the Sahamkar may have also brought you into this curse. You did part of the say, ship, part of the crew. You did say the Sahamkar spoke to you, right? It spoke directly to me. And it offered you something. And you it turned did. it down. It did, because it felt like danger. That might have been what it wanted. Are by denying it... <clears throat> by denying its request, you might have inadvertently cursed yourself. <sighs> I think it might be best if we do attempt to reach out to the Awoken. I do don't we... know if they would talk to us specifically. I do know that they are, at least speaking, on better terms with the Guardians these days. Especially given the recent circumstances. But do we... So, if I'm a part of this curse, then do we bring this in, this information and this encounter I think I had we need with to the verify. The I think we need to verify what we know. So, if this is in fact a curse, again, there's really only one group of people who are going to know more about the curse and the curses of the Amkara. And that is going to be the Queen of the Awoken, Mara Sov. But do we bring in the rest of the team? Because I feel like this... <sighs> to me, this feels like... I am going behind their backs. Well, I may have... <laughs> 
I may have trust issues, but even this sounds cruel. Well, I do think they should be brought in. But not only that, we do know someone who is awoken who might have a connection to the queen that might be able to help us figure that out. The cryptarch? No, uh, the hunter, Uros. You didn't know he was awoken, right? Up at the table, I'm stupid. Is Uros awoken? Yes. I'm a little offended, yeah. miss. <laughs> I'm sorry, I must no. not have realized this entire fucking time. <laughs> Man, she has... <laughs> She's just man. Imagine not 100. paying attention to Uros's section at oh. all, especially when I'm even talking about his connection to the queen. <laughs> man, just looking, she looks directly at Uros with his blue skin and, and white eyes. Yeah, I was gonna say, oh, no, I was it? Uh, okay, Ur here's Uros the thing. just sneezes what, okay, somewhere on, in the hold distance. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like above table has. Have I actually heard his description? Yes. Yeah. When? Multiple <laughs> times. And I, I've literally talked in this session about his connection to the queen. As well. It, as it's last it's session. a subtle hint. It was maybe in one sentence, but it was still. It was still. Like there. I said, I'm dumb. Okay. <laughs> So, so going back to I my am joke, sorry for missing those. It's details. okay. No, 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 no. No one's it's pissed. It's more funny than anybody. <laughs> we're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're just breaking your balls. So going, back, going back to my joke, Diablo looking directly at Earl's with his blue skin, his yeah. blue hair, and white eyes. Nah, you're, you're woken. <laughs> Man, she's really inclusive. <laughs> Titan brain for real. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh. Man. These Lego munchers, I swear. I, I mean. What? <laughs> What'd she say? I said these Lego munchers, I swear. <laughs> now, I, I, may, I may also be a Titan who has gone through 11 resets and forget names sometimes. But at least I still remember the race. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't forgotten your skills, all right? <laughs> she has at one point. Exactly. Fuck off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow. I just said, I don't know how I feel right now. This hurt, man. This hurt. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I, le I legitimately did not even realize. See, I told you. It's, it's... It made me the mopey character. <laughs> That's all that I am. I'm just a mopey character. Uh... Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh but God. anyway, circling back to what we were doing. <clears throat> okay, straight. <laughs> no, I'm still hurt, man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, Ur Uro sneezes Stripping. somewhere off in the distance. Like he, he's, he's not. Nah, you, you don't hear anything. You just sneeze. Just... <laughs> nah, Uro. Man, I got cold. Fucking hurt. I suddenly feel a cold chill. What the heck was that? I feel like I should be hurt somehow. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, back to being serious. <laughs> Ouch. But Polaris so is just looking at you. <clears throat> Eros might be our one connection that we have, at least that we know of, that can at least help us get an audience with the Awoken Queen. I mean, well, didn't he say he was going to meet with her anyway? I remember, I think I remember hearing something about that. I think he's gone already. Uh, maybe we can shoot him a message, see if maybe he can 
I don't know, maybe invite us over so we can tag along. I I I don't know. That feels kind of intrusive, in my opinion. If it's a personal if it's a personal meeting with the queen, then that's his own personal matters. I this is my own per and intruding upon his thing with my own personal thing. Mm. Mm, well, I mean, we can see if we can just reach out to, um, you know, some of the Awoken cor Corsairs. <laughs> if they'll even let me. Well, as I said, they're at least a little more talkative to Guardians nowadays. I mean, so it certainly wouldn't hurt us to put in an inquiry and ask. I mean, if we do want to kind of keep it between our, you know, just between ourselves for right now. I would rather keep it amongst the team and not bring anybody else into this. I'll at least shoot Eros a message saying I'd like to at least talk with the queen at some point or anybody who knows more about the Ahamkara. I don't know if I'm really ready to tell them about the wish attempt or the that vision quite yet not until that's I know more. understandable uh i mean i would like to think we can trust them a few of them a little more than others but uh I think Eros and Elias are real, at least among, well, Eros more than Elias, I guess, but Both I, I think we can things. trust him. And in terms of answering this question with the Amkara, like I said, there's only really one a place I know where we're going to find any answers on that, and that's going to come from the Awoken. Maybe not necessarily the Queen, per se, but we can certainly see if we can open our own dialogue with the Awoken and see if they'd be willing to part with some information. Mm. It also makes me curious what Eros, what Eros's stance is on with the rest of his people. It's on bad terms. I don't know if... I don't know his story with the rest of his people. Yeah, true enough. I, I don't know them all that well myself either. I've only gathered a few stories from their ghosts in, in our conversations. Uh, like I said, from the sounds of it, between everyone... I'd say, you know, Eros is probably the most trustworthy, in my opinion, and probably uh, Theo Eleven. He seems nice, but, uh, you know, Titan-like, but, uh, you know, pretty nice. Yeah. Elias, I mean, he's, I mean, he's a warlock, but he's probably the most hothead warlock I think I've ever encountered. So I, uh, with him, he's a bit of a wild card in my opinion. I mean, he's a warlock, so I would think he would approach things from a logical standpoint, but sometimes he seems to act on emotion and act rather quickly on it. But he is strategic, so I can't kill him. I can't fault him for that. Well, in any event... Sometimes action uh, is needed. Yeah. Uh, Especially but quick, as, decisive action. Yeah. But as far as uh, the others, Ash and Singe, well, Ash... Well, that uh, hand cannon... That's certainly a thing that needs to be addressed. And Singe, well... He's another wild card, but he's a wild card for a different reason. He's seeming aimless, but he's also looking for something. 
He's hard to read. I don't quite know entirely what his motives are. To be honest, I'm not even sure if he even knows what his motives are, just from the sounds of his journey. Waking up, immediately being thrown into a situation like this, and and you also have a, a, a Vex mind involved in your head. Uh, to me, that seems like one of the most unsettling parts. I mean, you know how the Vex are and what they've been able to do. It's... I mean, if they have the kind of power to turn an entire planet into a machine world, I mean, who knows what they could do to a Guardian if they were able to learn how they work from the inside out. So if you wanted to keep it within the team, I understand. But if you were going to trust in anyone here, I would say between everyone here, it would probably be Eros or Theo. Mm. Shoot a message over to Eros. Ask him if it is possible to meet up with any librarians within the uh, Awoken. Or if there's any archivists within them within their uh, ranks. I'm not sure how to say it. <clears throat> I understand. I'll shoot a message over to Eros and we'll see what we can do to get the ball rolling on reaching out to them. Yeah, All right. If he, if he asks, just tell him I am curious about this Ahamkara creature we keep on interacting. Sure. I won't tell them exactly what we're looking for. And with that, Diablo kind of just... She has her bowl um, a little bit away from her as she's sitting there thrumming her fingers on the table. And her eyes unfocused and... Uh, becomes in deep thought. Her other hand ends up bringing out a uh, little tool that she then fidgets with. All right. Uh, so that'll wrap up your part of that. Um, so Ash, Singe, or Theo... Which of you would like to go next? Sorry, I had to step away for a minute. What what's going on, sir? Uh did you want to take your turn? Uh what are we doing? I, I... uh so the you're gonna be free to go about um your quest to cleanse your weapon. Oh, uh, okay. Do we have any uh I guess I'll ask Dragon like, do we have any leads on like the location of that group that we both mentioned earlier? Well, <clears throat> I was at least able to get a little more information. Uh, so they are the Shadows of Yore. They're a pretty small group. Um, I might have a lead on one of them. Um, but the others... Um, this is going to kind of sound a little grim. Um, they're dead. That is not inspired confidence. You said they all had this. You said they all had one of these. Right? I did, and I, as I said, I've been looking into them. Um, 
There's they're very small and the few that are out there are scattered. They're not organized. I like I said, I've got a lead on one of them and it takes us takes us out to Nessus. Well, if it's, if it's the only if it's the only lead we got, we may as well run it down. Well, no argument there. So I'll get the ship prepped and we'll head to Nessus as soon as we can. Uh, in the meantime, before we did depart, did you want to do anything else before we go? Uh, not really. I think I think Ash is all set up for the trip. All right. So at this point, then you are going to prep for a trip out to Nessus. And that's where your part will finish up. Uh, Singe. Yes, hello. So, uh, for you, what are you looking to do with your, your personal quest? My which quest? Like... What are you looking to do with your character? Like, what kind of personal quest are you wanting to do with your character? Hmm, personal quests. Like, are you wanting to do something and <clears throat> like learning more about the Vex inside of your head? Are you looking to understand more about the time travel aspect of which that you brought into? Like, what what do you want to do with your character? Because, uh, like, above game. I'm kind of giving you the platform. Like, if you want to do anything like kind of unique with your character, this is going to be the time to do it because we are going to be wrapping up the campaign here in not too distant future. So, whatever you want to do with your character with this, this is going to be that time to do it. Well, I guess currently what I'm thinking of is really the only thing I can try and do is either head back to the cavern try to see if i can head back to the cavern find something after i go through the try to see if i can go through um the market once again to see if i'm able well more like the like the market where like the blacksmith marketing area where they sell like trinkets and stuff to see if mm -hmm. i'm able to find something similar to a vex item that has something to do with time travel perhaps that way I can get closer to finding the truth who I am or just finding finding out more about uh what do you call it where I was found or something like that, you know okay so ultimately was... you're you're looking more into the deep stone crypt is what I'm understanding yeah I guess yeah okay so you uniquely would at least have a transmat to the location that you would have been originally born in. So you have a unique transmat to a location within the Deepstone Crypt. And you can go there at your leisure. I guess nothing's stopping me from going now, so I'll just go now then. Okay, so you will transmat in the unique way that you've been able to do because of your Vex connection. And you will go to the Deepstone Crypt. And then uh, lastly, Elias. Yeah. Uh, so as everyone's kind of moving off to do their own thing, what is it you'd be looking to do? Um, I'm gonna talk to Barton and see if he still has any connections to the underground. Okay, so. You've been and, kind of working well, at the... 
I was going to say the reason being is that I'm going to see if anybody has any information on where Nikon started his search. Oh, that, okay, that's fine. So you, um, <clears throat> after a little while, you'd go into the back and speak with Barton. He's gotten the, the food ready for the next, uh, the next shift that's about to come in. And he's helping supervise some of the people who are, like, getting him rationed out. <clears throat> he kind of notices you, you walk in. Well, the next batch will be ready here soon. Uh, did you have something else you wanted to ask me? Uh, yeah, something that may not be talked about here, if you catch my drift. He, he just kind of gestures uh, to go up the stairs to the bar, and he uh, starts walking up the stairs. <clears throat> well, we should have at least enough rations for about six or 700 people, which is the typical amount that we usually get. It's, uh, it's at least fairly good business. It brings a lot yeah. of people at night. He kind of turns the corner and closes the door uh, to the kitchen. And uh, everyone else has pretty much left the bar at this point, so you guys have the the bar to yourselves at the moment. That's, so that was Quiz is gonna get for the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, basically, what I want to talk about is, by any chance, do you still have any of your father's connections to the underworld? And I do. It's nothing nefarious. I'm looking for information, if they might have it. Well, information is what my father dealt in best. What exactly are you looking for? Um, my old teacher disappeared uh, quite a while back. And I'm just needing to know where he started his search. All right. What's the and name? Nikon. Nikon. All right. I'll reach out to a few of my contacts and see what they can dig up. Uh, do you happen to know how long he's been gone? Um, we were gone for about 100 years, correct? Yep. So... I would say he probably left five years after we disappeared. So about 95 years ago. Ah. Well, that uh, might be exceedingly difficult. But mm -hmm. uh, I'll see what we can dig up. Might be a pretty cold case if he's been gone for almost 90 plus years. Yeah, Are you but... you even sure he's still alive after all this time? Considering he was my teacher, yeah, most likely. He's just probably out there searching and doesn't know where we are. Alright, well... And I at least owe it to him, if he is dead, to find at least part of him and bring him back. Fair enough. I could respect the desire to go after an old master of yours, especially if he's in some sort of danger. Yeah, he was searching for us um, after an accident. He kind of looks at you a bit curiously, just... Well, given what you've kind of told me already, don't you think he would have come back after at least a few years of searching? Considering how determined that man is, probably not. But sounds like a pretty headstrong individual. I mean, he did teach me. Uh, Which isn't the highest of bars. 
I'm not exactly sure all of his teachings stuck with you. Yeah, no. But still, I respect him enough to um, try and find him, even if others aren't willing to. Well, I do have a few contacts, as I said. I'll reach out to them, see what I can find. Um, may take a day or two before I actually hear back on anything. Uh, so in the meantime, uh, if you want to help me out here with the bar, you could certainly appreciate the help. Yeah, I was planning on sticking around for a while. All right. Uh, so on that note... I think we're going to wrap it up here for now. We've got everyone set up for your personal quests. And yeah. The next session will be longer because uh, we're going to be dedicating more time to what's happening in all of these quests. Damn, over already? It's almost three hours. I was going to say, the only other thing that I'm going to do while uh, helping out in the kitchen is uh, expanding basically the ability to cook and such to be able to yeah. help more surrounding areas. So, Yeah, yeah, we can, we can discuss that uh, out of game. Because uh, if you wanted to make like some changes to like the menu or like do anything, oh no, bar, no, no, like... no, 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 no. I mean, just like bringing in like changing part of the club area into another temporary kitchen, like just to expand and help more of the construction crews around. Like nothing permanent wise. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, like this is going to be that time where we're we've set everyone up to begin your personal quests, so. I will and, be back. Yep. And like I said, the next one will, will certainly go longer because we're going to be putting more focus on some of these quests. And and as you can probably tell, they're, some of them are kind of tied together with one another, so. Mm-hmm. You do hear dice. They're going back. They're going back in the bag. Oh Stay yeah! In bag. Stay in the bag. <laughs> I don't want to hear that many Stay in the box. No! Yeah. Stay in the box. No! Yeah. Oh god! As long as I don't hear him hitting the bag. This is this fine. is the tiny bag. This is my tiny personal bag right oh, here. Don't look. make me break up the big bag. Yeah. PTSD. Oh, PTSD. I... <laughs> oh. oh he... Here it comes. Don't you dare. Oh, God. The panic ensues. That, that oddly enough, scratches an itch in my brain. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, oh, dice? A Clucky. ASMR dice. Oh, yeah. I, it's bad that I immediately think shinies. <laughs> it's like, it's like oh. clocking keys for me. <laughs> no, that is I, my clocking key. <laughs> I will give you this this glow in the dark dice. Did you just say do you have glow in the dark dice? Yeah, of course I do. It does. I do too. Do you have my attention? <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna discuss dice, and they're all interest kisses and everything that we. Okay, have. I'm back. Welcome back. So, Sorry. All right. I had forgotten that uh, my delivery had been arrived. Delivered? Yeah, so it had been sitting outside in the rain. Oh. No! <laughs> no! Luckily, it was in a plastic bag. Uh, well, no, it's okay, good, packed. but oh! No. Yay, no soggy burrito. <laughs> a burger, actually. It's even worse. <laughs> oh. Get the bun all wet. It's just an uh, itchy. So if anybody, wants, and hot. <laughs> if anybody wants this material to run their own session or just curious, go visit Velvet Fang. They're the ones who do all that stuff. You know, you can check out their uh, their X thing, Twitter. 
I'm going to start an argument again. Oh, fine. Discord. Go ahead. Twitch, YouTube, all that stuff they have. And if you want yeah, to... And yeah, what? Also, speaking of, I actually, because I just kind of noticed this, they do ha are doing a YouTube Shorts channel where they're asking for feedback uh, from the their patrons on the Dean Destiny 2.0. So if, oh, if you do happen to decide to become a patron of the of Velvet Fang, they are asking for active feedback of the new system. And there's your YouTube page. There's an address thing. Link. Yeah. Put the image up here. Wonder what that looks like. Hmm. And if anybody wants to catch past episodes, if you do catch this and you get to the end of this or the beginning, you'll hear the same spiel. There it is. You'll find all the past episodes of all these jokers doing crazy things. And my God, if you've been here and listened to us this long, thank you. We fucking love you guys. Yeah, see, and there's other links. Go check them out. There you go. Um, yeah, I don't care about them that much there. <laughs> no, I do care, sort of. They're still too close. But do you guys want to say bye? No? Good. Oh, goodbye. We'll see you next week for Transformers. Get some sleep. May the calming cold guide your heart. A child, sleep tight. Uh, drink house. the waters. May you all burn in. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Wait, wrong line. <laughs> Roll them dice. <laughs> Wherever you're at in the world, have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and be safe out there. Uh, yeah, we'll see you Friday for Transformers. I'm, I'm tired now. <laughs> I became popular.